Now we are into the most interesting area that's Joule's law. So what in by Joule's law? Joule's law can be stated as the quantity of heat H is generated in a conductor of resistance R when a current is directly proportional to the square of the current I square and the resistance of the conductor R and the time which the current flows that's I square into R into T that's referred to as your Joule's law. So where I is the current which is measured in amperes and R is the resistance measured in ohms and time that's T which is measured in seconds and power it's watts. To talk about heating effect, in a conductor the free electrons are always at random motion making collision with the ions or atoms in the conductor. When a voltage V is applied between the ends of the conductor, it results in the flow of current. The free electrons are getting accelerated. Hence, the electrons gain energy at the rate of voltage into current per second. You are able to see the ions are moving from here to here, 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 here and here. This is how the current is passed. So the lattice ion or the in ions receive the energy Vi from the colliding electrons in random bursts. This increase in energy is nothing but the thermal energy of the lattice. This is how the electrons are collided in random bursts. For the moving towards the heating effect for a steady current I, the amount of heat produced is H equal to V into I into T. So H is nothing but Joule's law of heating. V is in voltage, I is current and R is resistance and time in T is time. Since we know the typical example, put I into a Ohm's law. For the moving, as we know the Ohm's law, that is V equal to I into R. That's I equal to V divided by R and I square is equal to V square divided by R square. Since Joule's law of heating effect is H equal to V into I into T, and for the resistance R, we'll get substituting V is equal to I into R here, you got the heat as I square RT. Instead, for I square, we are trying to substitute V square by R square here to get heat equal to V square by R into T. The above experiment is verified by Joule and the law is Joule's law of heating. You are able to see a water heater here which produces heat energy from electric energy. From the equation 2 the Joule's law implies that H equal to I square into RT. It's nothing but the heat is directly proportional to the square of the current and directly proportional to the resistance R and directly proportional to T. So that's given here. For equation 3, we are able to get its inversely proportional. The heat produced is inversely proportional to the resistance R for a given voltage V. 
Let's refer to as Joule's law of heating.